An Arizona Republican candidate is facing some criticism after alleged photos of her wearing black and brown face as a costume at at least two different occasions. Uh, you know, these uh, photos had come out. So now a set of photos shared on Twitter earlier this week appeared to show Marianne Mendoza, a Republican candidate for the Arizona House of Representatives in blackface and brownface, according to the Copper Courier. The two photos allegedly show uh, Mendoza, Mendoza. Let me show you a picture of her here. So, so that's Mendoza, obviously not in blackface, who is running for a seat in Arizona's 9th Legislative District, wearing blackface makeup along with an apron that reads Aunt Jemima. Again, I'm going to show you these pictures in a minute. Um, another photo appears to show the Republican candidate wearing brown face for a costume of historical Native American figure Pocahontas. So, uh, with adequate warning here, because this is incredibly offensive, I will now show you these photos. And there it is. Whew. Yeah. Even down to the, I mean, the fake, the fake butt. Jesus. So, yeah. Uh, there it is. Uh, that's horrible. Now, we don't know who took the photos, when they were taken, or how the person who shared these photos, you know, obtained them. We, we don't know. And so that's why I say alleged. Right now, the person who shared this uh, is an account at Tyler here for fun. Apparently, that doesn't seem all that much fun. Uh, has since locked his account. I'm assuming, you know, maybe a little bit of backlash for that. Now, the Copper Courier, which first reported on the photos, wrote that Mendoza had not responded to questions from a local news outlet. And I could probably guess why. And, you know, you look at those pictures. Yeah, this that's that looks like it's her. Now, here's the thing. I've never understood why grown ass adults felt feel the need to wear like racist costumes. I just I just never understood it. And before you guys, oh, the racist costume It's just it's just Aunt Jemima. I'm pretty sure she didn't dress up as Aunt Jemima because she's a fan of pancakes. No, it's to mock them. It's to mock black people. That's why you do blackface. To mock black people. And it's mocking black and indigenous culture. That's why it's a problem. Blackface is a long history in this country, in the United States of America, of being incredibly disrespectful towards black and brown people. It, it is the only reason why people in this country dress up this way. Now, her opponents, Lorena Austin and Seth Blatman, um, they wrote in a joint statement that the pictures are, quote, a display of violent racism. Violent something for sure. These photos are disgusting, hate-filled, and unfortunately part of a pattern for Marianne Mendoza, the statement read per the Copper Courier. This trend makes Ms. Mendoza unfit to become legislator and represent the people of LV9. If these photos are what they appear to be, Ms. Mendoza should withdraw her candidacy. So now they mentioned a pattern. And uh, what pattern is that? Well, it's a pattern of saying and doing outrageous things. In fact, uh, we have some pretty anti-Semitic comments that she had reposted. According to the Daily Beast, Mendoza had linked to a lengthy thread from a QAnon conspiracy theorist that laid out a fevered anti-Semitic view of the world. And it's telling the Rothschilds, a famous Jewish banking family from Germany, created a plot to terrorize non-Jewish people with purported details of their scheme that included plans to make them destroy each other and rob them of their landed properties. So anybody who's not Jewish, apparently. So, oh, great. We're going to sprinkle in some anti-Semitism here. The thread uh, claimed that malevolent Jewish forces in the banking industry are out to enslave non-Jewish people and promote world wars. And of course, then you add in QAnon. Yes. The thread from Twitter user War Nurse that she, uh, War News, sorry, that she had uh, reposted claimed that even the Titanic had been sunk as a plot to protect the Federal Reserve. That's a new one. Uh, at least I haven't heard that one. 
and that every president between John F. Kennedy and Donald Trump was a slave to the thrall of a global cabal, of course. The threat also promoted the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, an anti-Semitic hoax popular in Nazi Germany, and claimed that its allegations about a Jewish plot to control the world are real. Uh, the thread Mendoza shared reads this, The Protocols are the, of the Elders of Zion is not a fabrication, and is certainly not an anti-Semitic to point out this fact. But it's not a fact. It's not real. It's just made up Looney Tunes nonsense. But, if you can remember, in 2020, she was actually part of the RNC lineup. And that, sharing that thread, got her booted from the Republican National Committee from a speaking slot. You know it's got to be real bad for the Republicans to say, that's bad. Out. Out. Now, you might be wondering why she was even there. Well... She got well-known back in 2014 for being an angel mom. Uh, now, basically, what happened is that her son was a police officer who was struck and killed by an undoc undocumented immigrant who was drunk, who had uh, substance abuse issues. Now, that's absolutely terrible. She went on to basically blame immigrants uh, to try to support right-wing draconian anti-immigrant measures. And again, she fell down the uh, QAnon conspiracy hole. Now, after she got removed, she apologized, saying this. I love this. Well, my apologies for not paying the attention uh, to the intent of the whole message. That does not reflect my feelings or personal thoughts whatsoever. Oh, oh, okay. Well, well, okay. So, uh, the whole message, huh? So, what part of the message do you agree with? I mean, again, they're a part of this. Uh, you know, gigantic street conspiracy theory that she had shared uh, where you know, she went after Hillary Clinton and called her a satanic high priestess. Yes, a satanic high priestess that, you know, probably eats babies because, again, that's QAnon, right? Or, or maybe uh, that uh, Obama's Washington home smells like sulfur because... You know, it's the devil. OK, no, this woman is not only Looney Tunes, but as you can see, she's also deeply racist. There's more, though. Mendoza has also posted her own tweets that push conspiracy theories involving, you guessed it, George Soros. Yeah, because, of course, of course she did. One tweet from June 2019 claimed that Soros was pushing for immigration to install a one-world government. Of course. Of course. In fact, here's what her post said. These are the violent types of people that Soros, the Rothschilds, and the United Nations have no problem using as pawns and uprooting them and bringing them to the USA to accomplish their one-world government. Oh, my God. We're under attack! I mean, that's what it is. It's Alex Jones' levels of insane. Just nuts. Nuts. Um, Mendoza has also alleged that public health advice uh, advocating for masks were using the Soros playbook during a pandemic, which we didn't know a lot about, and claimed that Fauci is paid by Soros. Again, because of course. And in September 2019, she has an a unhealthy fixation with Soros, as all these people do. Mendoros called Soros, uh, I'm sorry, Mendoza called Soros a Holocaust survivor, a quote-unquote Nazi. This Nazi is still at it, and the progressives loving for it. Did she understand what a Nazi is? D does she really? I, I don't think she understands. She doesn't get it. She doesn't know what they are. You know, the Nazis were right-wing, not left-wing. And no, progressives don't like Nazis at all. <laughs> we hate Nazis. Uh, but anyway, she's a lunatic. And so, look, uh, reading through her history, yeah, uh, no surprise that you would find these kinds of horrible photos. Now, the real question is, are the people of Arizona, are, are you going to vote for her? Are you still going to vote for her? Is this not going to be a deal breaker for you or what? 
And and the reason I ask this is because we're in that really frightening, you know, moment in, in this country's history where kooks like this all over the country are actually getting elected and taking power. And so it's not unreasonable to ask whether or not this it, it clearly racist, anti-Semitic piece of crap will actually be able to get into power. I mean, again, if somebody like Marjorie Green believes in the Jewish space lasers, you know, and QAnon and like Lauren Boebert, who believe that, uh, you know, uh, women are, what is it, the, the lesser the lesser vessel, then yeah, uh, I totally believe that someone like this could get elected. And that's, uh, that's a scary thought.